Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Nurse Catherine here. In today's video, I will be going over the Glasgow Coma Scale, what it is and how you measure it. But before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to my channel right now and give this video a big thumbs up. Other than that, let's get started. So first, let's define the Glasgow Coma Scale. It is said that it is a clinical scale used to reliably measure a person's level of consciousness after a brain injury. The GCS assesses a person based on their ability to perform eye movements, speak, and move their body. It also goes on to say that these three behaviors make up the three elements of the scale I, verbal, and motor. All right, so in this table I am putting on the screen, you can see how you measure the Glasgow Coma Scale. So starting at the top, it starts at behavior. So eye-opening response. Are they spontaneous? Is it to speech? Are they opening their eyes to pain or are they non-responsive? The higher the score, the better they are. So the best verbal response would be oriented to time, place, and person. Are they confused? Are they saying inappropriate words? So as you see, the numbers go down, the worse they are. So at the very bottom, you see the total score. If this patient has a total score of 15, that is the best response they could have. And that means they have a GCS of 15. And you will hear this frequently used in the emergency room and assessing in nursing. Frequently in the emergency room, you are always wanting to know what the GCS scale is before the patient comes in. We always had a saying of eight, you intubate. They rhyme. So if the patient was less than eight or eight or less, you intubate that person. So on this table, you can see that it says, Comatose silent, that is eight or less, and totally unresponsive is three. If you work in EMS, this is a scale you will want to memorize because you do not always have the charting system right there for you to look at like we do in the hospital. In the hospital, you will see your assessment and it will have your GCS scale or Glasgow Coma Scale on it and it will tell you the numbers and the response and it will give you the total numbers so that you don't have to calculate it yourself. But in the outpatient world or EMS world, you do have to calculate that yourself if you have no access to that assessment information. Okay, so to end this video, I want to go through two scenarios and how you calculate the GCS scale. So the first scenario is me. I will be the scenario. So I am talking to you. I am not using incomprehensible words. My eyes are open and I can move my body. So I have a GCS number of, that's right, 15. So I have the best GCS number there is. Now let's go to scenario two. I want you to calculate the GCS number and then I will give you the answer. Okay, so here is your EMS report for scenario two. The patient is opening their eyes to speech when you talk to them, but they are saying incomprehensible sounds, but they are obeying commands. What is their GCS? This patient has a GCS number of 11. So I encourage all of you to make up scenarios to help you learn the Glasgow Coma Scale. That is the best way to study this. Other than that, that is it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.